Okay, first part of my map creation series, so you're just going to be watching what I'm doing and you're going to be hearing all the background noise because my house isn't always quiet. Alright, so, got this design here. There was a better designed one, but unfortunately, it's on my other computer. So, I'm going to have this hexagonal map with a dip in the middle and it's going to have a platform in the middle for, for sorry, a, a platform, a goal in the middle to score into. Um, I might actually, might actually give it a dip so you have to get it over, get it over and into here. So, how are we going to get this done? So, I'm going to create a sphere. I like breaking them down into shapes. So a sphere, cut it in half and then chuck a cylinder on top and get rid of the faces inside and then I'm going to convert them to a mesh so that they don't do some weird chopping stuff and give it sticky walls probably um, might make a list actually so I'll make it down here it's going to have sticky walls um, I don't think it'll have any teleporters, so spawn points, obviously. Central goal. Sticky wall, spawn point, central goal. Um, hmm. I don't think it really needs anything else right now. As I go on, if I want to add stuff, I'll add stuff in. I might add a a teleporter maybe. Maybe I'll make their two goals. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So there's going to be two goals. So the other goal, I believe, unless this sounds stupid, is going to be up here. There you go, you can either get it down there, or you can get it up, dribble it up, and try and hit it up into the goal. It'll create for some interesting stuff. Actually, I'm going to make that goal a bit smaller because it might be a bit easy just to whack it into it. Alright, so the ball comes up. It's going to, if it drops inside there, then you're fucked. And they score. Whereas if it goes up there, they score as well, but it's the last person that touched it. <coughs> Obviously, I'm not going to actually have a scoreboard on the game right at the start. It's just going to be tallying it up between you. Oh, this is a multiplayer map, by the way, in case you didn't know by the fact it doesn't have any actual objective other than goals. Hmm. Alright. So you're not going to see this anymore. Okay, so I think I'll leave that as part one of the tutorial, just the map decisions part. And next time I'll be going into just doing the basic stuff on the map.